All right, in these two examples, we're just given two points and we want to find the slope of a line that passes through them. So really these are identical <laughs> examples. One, one for me, one for you. All right, so let's, let's do this. If we want to find the slope between any two points, we're just going to find the change in y over the change in x, right? So the slope here is going to be the change in y. Now I can either take one minus three or three minus one. It doesn't matter as long as I'm consistent with what I, with, with the, um, you know, the point that I choose first. Okay. So if I choose, uh, the first point first, then the y coordinate is one and the second uh, point will be the other point. So I have one minus three. Okay. So you can see I get a negative two in the numerator, but I have to make sure that, you know, if I chose, if I chose this to be my point one and this to be my point two, then I have to choose the X coordinate of the, of the same point first. All right. So I need to have negative one minus five. So you can see I get um, negative two over negative six, which is negative over a negative, right? So negative six over ne or negative two over negative six becomes a positive one third. Now I could have done it the other way. I could have done, let me just do that calculation too. I could have chosen the second point first, right? Chose, chosen the y coordinate. So three minus one, right? But if I choose this point two first, then I have to um, be consistent with when I choose the y coordinate. Uh, or sorry, the x coordinate. So I have to choose uh, y from point two first, and then um, I'm going to have minus a minus, so minus a negative one becomes plus one. So in this case, I get a positive two over six, which is still one third. Either way, I get the same slope. It doesn't matter which point you use first. You just have to be consistent between the numerator and the de de denominator. Okay, so. All right, so you try the next one, uh, example four. You can pause the video, and I will, um, and you can restart it, and um, I can go through it with you. All right, so we get, again, we're given two points, and um, so I'm just going to calculate the slope. So it doesn't matter which point I choose first, as long as I'm consistent between the numerator and denominator. So let's say I choose this one first. And I take one minus three in the numerator. So that's the difference in the y coordinates. So that means I have to choose the seven first in the denominator, right? Because I choose, chose the one first for the numerator and then subtract two, right? So that's the difference in the x, x coordinates. So I get uh, one minus three is a negative two. Seven minus two is five. So my slope is negative two fifths. All right, I'll meet you in the next video.